Hello and welcome to the Nurse Station. I'm Maria Mobley and let's talk next gen test taking strategy. So I know you've seen or hopefully you've seen my select all that apply strategy video and I explain why you should not guess. With this scoring model for select all that apply, you lose a point for every incorrect answer. So you don't want to guess on those questions. However, I noticed when I was teaching my students that they were using that strategy for select in, but they are actually different scoring models. So you have two different questions. One could have a, a, a question that says select the best three responses or select the best four responses. That is considered a select in, I don't know why I do this, but select in question. This is a different scoring model than select all that apply. So let's just review the two. Select N, remember you select, for instance, the best three or the best four. It will give you a specific number of answers to select. And th th this is your example, select three. And that means there is only three correct answers in that question. You must select at least one answer and you can select less than the amount provided to you. So if it says select the best three answers, you can actually just select two, okay? Now, I need you to understand this. You never lose a point if you select the wrong answer for this type of scoring model. So your strategy for select N is to guess. You should always select whatever they tell you to. So if they tell you to select the best three, like right here, and you absolutely know two are correct, but you're not really sure about your third answer, go ahead and take it, because you will not lose a point if that third answer is incorrect. Your strategy for select and questions, again, they will give you a, a question, a client scenario, and they'll say, select the best four answers, select the best two answers, whatever number they give you, and remember that number is the correct amount of answers that could be in that question, you need to select all of them. So if it says select three, I need you to pick three answers even if you don't absolutely know if they're all right. If it says select two, because you do not lose points for wrong answers. Take it, take all options provided to you versus select all that apply, you do not guess. Remember, select all that apply, you select an unspecified number of answers. So it just says select all that apply. You don't know how many answers are correct. You can over or under respond, meaning if there's four correct answers, you can pick two or you can pick five. It, it, it's not going to stop you from selecting less or more. Now, you earn one point for each correct, you lose a point for each wrong. That's why your strategy is to not guess. If you know that there's absolutely two correct answers and you guess a third one and it's wrong, instead of two points, you're gonna lose a point and you're only gonna get one point. So your strategy for select all apply, please do not guess. Your strategy for select N, I need you to always select the N number of responses. So if it says select two, you should select two responses even if you don't absolutely know. If it says select three, select three responses because you do not lose a point if you guess it wrong. Okay, that's our strategy. And you'll, you'll understand better once we do an example. So I have the same question for select N and select all that apply. And we're first going to use the strategy to guess. Okay, we are going to guess. That's going to be our strategy for both. Okay, and you'll see why on select N, it's always good to guess. Select all that apply, it's not good to guess, okay? So let's look at our question. The circulating nurse in the operating room is preparing for a surgical pr procedure. Which aspects of universal protocol should the nurse verify? So universal protocol, AKA timeout procedure, we had to implement this to ensure that we were keeping patients safe during surgery. For instance, to make sure that instead of operating on the left knee, we're operating on the right knee. 
the wrong limbs have been operated on. So these safety measures came into place, for instance, to assist to prevent those errors from occurring. So select the best three answers. I'm gonna guess, I absolutely know. Let's say for instance, I absolutely remember from my studies, two of the answers. I absolutely remember that you always have to identify your, your, your client. So I'm gonna pick this one. I know this one's right. And I absolutely know that I remember we had to mark the incision site, we, not us. The surgeon needs to mark the incision site. So I remember those two. But this is select three. Remember, there is three correct answers when you see the select N style of question. They're telling you how many are right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and guess. I can't really remember the third one, but I'm just gonna pick client allergies because I mean, come on, it's always important to assess client allergies. But remember, the topic is specific to universal protocol, okay? Now over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna guess, I absolutely know I need to verify the correct patient. I absolutely remember we have to mark the site, but again, I guess with select all the plaque. So the correct answers, just to review universal protocol, you should always verify the client, the correct procedure or surgery, and the correct surgical site. These are the correct three answers. Now, we use the strategy of guessing, which you should always use here, select in, but don't ever use on select all to plaque. So let's look at how this will be scored. For both questions, your max amount of point are, points are the correct amount of answers. Your maximum amount of points you can get is three. You can never go below zero. Like for select all to apply, even though it deducts points, it will never take you into a negative point outcome. So your minimum points are zero. Now, client's allergies, I didn't get, it doesn't take away one, it just gives me zero points for this zero one scoring model on select in. And then I got one point for that one and I got one point for this one. So I got a total of two points for the select in stop. Now over here, select all, while you do not guess, I get a point taken away for guessing the wrong answer. I get a point for these two correct answers. So when you add it up, my total points for this one, because I guessed is one, when we are using this type of scoring model, okay? So again, do you see why you do not guess over here? You don't guess. Now, why it's good to guess over here, I'm gonna just change this and say, we did not guess, we don't guess. No guessing. I don't guess this response. I only go with what I absolutely know. Do you see your points are exactly the same? Why not guess? Why not, hey, what if I actually guessed the right answer? I didn't absolutely know, but I guessed it. You will get a point for that. So why not guess? If guessing does not affect your score, meaning you still absolutely get points for your correct answers, always select your N. That is your strategy. Here, I want you to always, always guess. This type, type of answer, I need you to guess, and I need you to guess and respond with the amount of, we don't say correct answers for the next gen, we say keys that are available. So again, if it says, two best answers, four best answers, five best answers, I want you to make sure you have, for instance, if it says five best answers, I wanna make sure you have five listed because you cannot lose points for this. Over here, again, if I had not have guessed, so let's take away my guess of here. If I had not have guessed with select all apply, I wouldn't have lost a point. So instead of one point, I would have gotten a point for every answer I absolutely knew. So I would have gotten two points for my select all that apply. So again, your strategy for select all that apply, do not guess, okay? Because remember, you, if you guess wrong, lose a point, all right? So 
I just wanted, I noticed my students were using the do not guess for both styles of questions and I really wanted to clarify that for them and also for you. So I hope this helps. Remember, select in, you will select all responses that they tell you to. If you guess and you guess wrong, you don't lose a point, okay? Select all and apply. I just want you to go with your gut instinct, take what you absolutely know, and that way you know you're gonna get those points. And we're not guessing and potentially losing points. So I'm just so excited for y'all. I have trained a lot of new nurses that took the next gen NCLEX and they like it, they did well. So I am hoping the same for you and just wish you the best in your nursing career. And remember, we are always better together. So if this helped you, explain this to another student so they can be smart and use strategies when taking those styles of questions. Take care.